Greetings all, and welcome to Dave's Craft Room. I'm Dave. And for today's video, I have pulled out this drawer. And this drawer contains a UFO, or an unfinished object. Um, for today's video, we're going to do something. We're going to finish it. The reason it becomes a UFO in the first place is because you lose interest. So if you've lost interest, like, if I'm not interested anymore, why should I finish it? You know what I mean? Like, but, um, in this case... I had bought, at, like, on eBay or something, this stack of, like, really colorful fabric that I like. These have been cut already into four-inch squares. And I bought it for a project that it wasn't going to be right for, so I, fig I, I came up with something else, which was this. I made these disappearing four-patch blocks. And what is disappearing four-patch? It's real easy. All you do is you sew a four-patch, and then you cut and then you flip it and then sew it back up and then you have your disappearing four patch. The problem with the UFO, this particular one, are numerous. For one thing, I no longer have this color of blue. This is the one that was in the drawer. I must have chucked that in. It's not the same shade. And I'm not gonna, you're gonna clock that if I use it. I'm not gonna use that. Um, I did make some in red as well, so I have the, I think that's the right red. Matter of fact, I'm not even sure that's the right red. It's not! Do I even know what I'm doing? This UFO is a disaster. I, I have neither of the original colors. These are not them. Um, so what am I gonna do? Uh, uh, I got to come up with something. Oh, I need the thinking cap. Um, okay, this is what we're going to do. We are going to do step one. Step one is going to be cut these, these that is, into this, sew four patches, cut and sew all of those four patches into disappearing four patches, and put it the hell together. But we cannot just make it, you know, we can't just do only that. Um, an idea is forming like Godzilla or like King Kong or like a wolf or like Campbell soup can. I don't know. Something really random. Okay, we have a plan. Thank you, Thinking Cap. Let's do it. Okay. These are going in Mount Scrapmore, which is here. And uh, now we're gonna dig for a solid. See, like, this is the point where I'm just like, should I put the quilt back in the drawer, like the blocks back in the drawer? Cause it's just not, there's no color that's gonna be good. I don't want a purple quilt. Hi, it's green. This is the green fabric, and that's what we're using, and that's my final answer. Cut it! It has to be perfect. finished the green ones that is the four patches of it and I've done some counting and we have 30 of the green ones 31 of the blue ones and 17 of the red ones for a total of 78 that is not enough for me to do anything with at all we're gonna do Purple. Okay, I think we're gonna do 30 purple. 
and the result is long and thin. I know what we're going to do. I got it. We're going to do purple next. Okay, I got it. Let's do purple. All right, guys, where we're at here on this day, we're, we're going to be making a Franken quilt, okay? And uh, <laughs> I only had, uh, I think, 55 of these, and I needed 60, so I've added this purple, which totally doesn't match at all. Um, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to put these in chunks, and then we're going to put, for the rest of the chunks, um, fabric that I like. That I don't know what else to do with. And that's going to be our Franken quilt. And then, in addition, I don't have any more of the colored things. So I have to dig through um, Mount Scrapmore and, f and drum up 60 4 by 4 inch square pieces. Charms! We have sewn together our four patches. Um, all of them that we're gonna do, I'm not doing any more. I refuse. And uh, we are now about to turn these into the disappearing four pack. And this, by the way, is very helpful to have this that spins. Your first step, I'm just doing, I think I did an inch. Yeah, because this is now half an inch. Try not to, okay. So I'm lining this seam up on this white line and I will line the, this one up there as well. Cut it like this one inch from the seam. It has to be perfect. Don't let it move. Okay, that's why you wanna rotate your thing. And cut it an inch like that all the way around. And then all I did, let me look at an example, is I guess you, that's a bad example. Here we go. Okay, I'm flipping these. And these. It can move now. What did I say? And these. And like that. I left this where it was. You can flip that if you want, but I liked it better this way. So then all you do is sew it up. however I want. How did I iron these? Iron it the way these are ironed is what I meant to say. So uh, out basically from the center. So I'm gonna do the rest of these. I'm gonna start with the blue and I'm gonna cut them all, put them in piles, chain piece. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to do most of that off camera. So I'll be back when these are all done. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do all of them. I'll be back when these are all done. I'll be back in five to ten years. All right, so it's time for a little bit of an update. I'm like almost done piecing all of the blocks together, as you can see. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. I went to the fabric store today. I had the... Uh, blocks up on the design wall before and I thought like they would really pop out if I used like a solid color and so you know I went to the fabric store to get one and I just couldn't like so anyway I did not get anything like what I 
thought to get when I went there. Instead, I got like sandwich print and I got three yards. And then this is like deer on top of polka dots. I think this might be a yard of it. <gasps> Some are wearing glasses. They didn't even notice that. These are like vintage appliances with, I think, Japanese words on it. So that's cute. And then the shiny cars. This is a fat quarter. The shiny cars. Maybe you can't tell that it's shiny, but they are shiny. <clears throat> Skulls. And then like a, um, just like a neighborhood, I guess. Um, this has nothing to do with this quilt, or maybe it does. I don't know yet. I, I really don't know what I'm going to put in between the, the panels of these, uh, these disappearing, uh, four patches. Uh, I also wanted to get a flannel for the back. I love to put flannel on the back of my quilts. It makes them like heavier and warmer, but they didn't have any. Um, so let me put this back into the, or let me put it into the, uh, into the fabric stash where it belongs. later in the day now uh, and I have everything finished there are 30 of each one except this one there's I think 17 um, but that's fine so we're gonna take this to the design wall we're gonna put them up we're gonna figure out some fabrics to put in between them and we're gonna make our Franken quilt So here we are. This probably does not make sense to anybody or me either, but basically what we have, what we have is our blocks and random fabrics that I'm fond of. Uh, I'm going to change that. Clean everything up. First step is gonna be to piece all these into panels. That way, then we'll know exactly how much of each of these backgrounds we are gonna need. Let me take a picture of this. top is I love it I think it's gorgeous it's my Franken quilt so the next step is gonna be to 
quilted Magar sandwich. By the way, did you notice that I <laughs> I pasted sideways? I don't know why I did that. It was not necessarily intentional. I just did it that way. And But this is the way that it was meant to go, that I, I always knew it was going to go. So yeah, we're going to quilt it. Uh, I, we're going to do just some simple uh, hand quilting. Uh, I'll probably piece it back together soon. I think it is it is a rectangular, although it doesn't exactly look like it, but I think it is. So yeah, let's finish it. guys I'm quilting here on my couch this is how I quilt I just uh, roll it up and do it in front of me I don't have a frame I don't have room for a frame in my house and um, I just do it here while I like watch drag queens on TV it's the second day now actually it's the middle of the night I will be up all night tonight I was sleep all day quilt all night sleep all day work the second night um, the quilting is getting worse and worse because my fingers are like, I don't know if you can even see that, but my fingers are getting raw. I have the thimbles, but I don't like the thimbles. Alright guys, here he is. His name is Tiffany the Franken Quilt and I love him. I think it's gorgeous. I think this is a fantastic way to finish a UFO that you're no longer interested in. Just make something goofy. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for joining me and please join me next time in Dave's Craft Room.